Okay, so I wanted to look at something slightly different today, and I think this is going to be something that you've not seen before, and I don't think you see many YouTubers talk about this either. And what I'm talking about here is a section that falls kind of in between low content books and higher content books. And I make a good deal of money from publishing these type of books. And what I'm going to do in this video is give you examples of these type of books. Now, Obviously, if you decide to go this route, then you're going to have to spend more money than you would on a low content book. I think that goes without saying. So stay with this video where I'm going to show you some niches. And if you're still looking for the part two of my creating and publishing a book from start to finish video, that's coming very, very soon, possibly in the next two days. So stay tuned for that. But for now, I wanted to make this video just to show you that there is other opportunities out there, possibly even better opportunities out there than just low content publishing. And of course, in this video, I'm not going to be dissing low content publishing because I do think you can make good money from it. But I also think that you should have a variety of different types of books uh, on your Amazon account as well. So the great thing about these sort of middle ground content books is that there's going to be less competition. So anything that you have to put more money or more effort into, you're going to have less competition. That's why there's so many low content books on Amazon is because they're so easy to do. They're so cheap to make. You can make them yourself. Pretty much anyone can do them and you can make multiple covers for the same interior that you have. However, with these slightly higher content books, people don't want to make the effort to have better things on Amazon. They don't want to make effort to publish better books on Amazon and try something different. They, they see that the low content fad is hot right now and it's a great way to make money and it is a good way to make money. But I think what a lot of people don't actually share with you is that there are other ways, perfectly viable ways of making more money on Amazon than just low content or no content books. OK, so the first example of this type of book that I'm going to search for is Campfire Stories for Kids. So if I start typing this into Amazon search here, you'll be able to see that people are actively searching for campfire stories and specifically campfire stories for kids and campfire stories for toddlers. So people are actively searching for campfire stories for kids and toddlers. Now, it might not be as popular as a keyword such as bucket list journal for couples. But if you type in bucket list journals for couples, you're going to get a lot of results come up. However, if we take a look at campfire stories for kids here, we can see that the search results is 263. Now with these search results, I always take that with a pinch of salt in terms of how many are actually directly related to this keyword. So what we can do is just check the first page here to see how many of these um, books here are exactly what we're looking for, which is campfire stories for kids. So the first one here is campfire stories for kids. The second one is, and possibly the third one, which is ghost stories for kids. So we're going to look through the independently published books only as per normal. And what I'm seeing is not a lot in terms of campfire stories for kids that are independently published. And in fact, I can't even see many publishing companies at all selling these type of books. So this thing that we need to be wary of when there are so little, when there is so little competition with these type of books is that maybe, you know, there's so little competition because they just aren't selling. However, what we can work off of is the books that are already selling. And of course, we've already seen from the search bar here that people are actively searching for these type of books. But what we can do is just check these first three, which are directly related to the keyword phrase that we've typed in here. So as you can see, the first book is ranked 26,000, the second one 187,000, and the third one 27,000. These first few books here are also independently published as well. And the rankings for these are incredibly low. Now, in terms of how much competition you have with trying to compete against these reviews, 451, 49, and 261, it doesn't really matter because there's only a couple of books that exist on Amazon in this niche. So if you make a Campfire Stories for Kids book, you're going to show up on the first page almost definitely unless you do something very, very wrong. And the good thing with stories is that even if someone buys this one here, this one here, and then this one here, they might still want more. And the chances are if they like these type of campfire stories, then they are going to buy more. And I think with summer approaching that specifically this niche that I'm showing you here is going to be quite popular. So when it comes to low, low, low competition books like these ones here, we need to take a look at some other factors that might be driving sales to these people's books. So what I'm going to do here is check out some of these authors and see what else they're selling 
So let's go ahead to this one here, the two ghost stories for kids and see what this person is sending on their account. So there's always a strong chance that even if it's independently published, they might have some crazy following going on that you don't know about and they're driving sales that way. So let's take a look at what Barbara Smith does for her paperbacks. So what I can see here is that she has a lot of ghost story books and what really interests me about this niche what makes you think that it is a good niche is that the only book that's selling well is this true ghost stories for kids book now if you take a look at all of her other books million one million one million one million two million three million two million three million these don't have any significant sales going to them whatsoever it's just someone that enjoys writing ghost stories and what they've done is they've hit it lucky with this keyword this keyword phrase true ghost stories for kids which is head and shoulders much 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 better than the rest of her books now she's selling it for 349 which means i assume that is a break-even price for a book this length and i don't know why they're doing that obviously but whatever um but in terms of how popular this book is ranked twenty seven thousand, you could definitely price this for toward ten dollars and still make sales Okay, so that's one person that we've taken a look at. Now, it could just be a pure fluke that this person is ranked 27,000 in books because they've priced their books so low that people are just, they can't resist a low price and they buy it. However, when it comes to low pricing, you need to understand that even if something is priced low, people still need to want to have it. And they obviously want to have this book regardless of the price. So you don't just buy things really just because they're cheap. So let's take a look at the second book here which is ranked 187,000, which on the Dopcon store is pretty good as well. And what I'm going to do is take a look at their page and see what else they're selling. What I'm looking for here when I go and look at these authors is to see if if they have some sort of something special going for them. If they've got like a huge following, um, I might you know look for them on Google or Instagram or something just to see if they've got some sort of backing that is pushing sales and traffic to their listings. So when I look through their paperback section here, I can see that this person, they're uploading books regularly um, and they're doing things like the would you rather questions, which is one that I spoke about in my previous videos. So right off the bat, and, there's, and they're shoving keywords here in here as well into their title. So what, what my thought process here is that this person is just doing what we're all trying to do here and it's just independently published on Amazon without having any significant backing. So that's a really good story and they have their campfire books here and they have another one actually which is ranked 497,000 which was only just released a few months ago and it's still getting reviews and making sales and they're charging $13 for it. So that's six, $6 profit possibly around that. Okay, so the reason that I know that this works is because I do it myself. I have three or four books where I've taken this approach of finding these sort of medium content books with very, very, very low competition and made my own version of them and I make sales from them. And just to give you some food for thought, I will tell you that I do also sell short stories for a certain type of person, okay? So this is something that you can definitely do yourself. You just need to find these type of niches. So with these type of books, you're obviously going to be aware that they're going to cost you more than your typical low content book. So you can't just go to Upwork, say, hey, here's $2, go ahead and make me my my stories or whatever you need to determine how many stories you're going to have or how long the story is going to be etc etc and then come to a price arrangement with the person that you've hired however what i will tell you is that there are people on upwork who are willing to work for a very very small price just because they enjoy writing and now there's absolutely nothing wrong with taking advantage of this and what you'll find is if you look around enough you'll find people that can write really really well that will charge you next to nothing for these type of stories because they enjoy doing it. And if they enjoy writing these type of stories and they don't care too much how, about how much money that they're getting paid for it, and they're going to give us the rights and the content for these books that we can go on to sell, then it's a win-win for both, um, both parties involved. But what I will say is that you must, if you're going to outsource this type of book, uh, stories and slightly higher content books, then you must take your time searching through Upwork to find the appropriate freelancer. And the great thing is once you find a freelancer that can do this that can do this work for you, you can continue to hire them for future projects. 
But when hiring someone off of Upwork, you should make it absolutely 100% clear that upon you paying for their work, you they are transferring all ownership rights of that work to you, the publisher. Okay, so campfire stories aren't just something that I've just pulled out of thin air. There's things that I've been researching for quite a long time now, these type of books that are slightly higher content and not crazy high content um, that you might typically find on Amazon. So what I'm going to do is give you another example of a book that I, or type of book that I think fits within this category as well, and that is fact books for kids. Okay, so fact books are something that you can really niche down with, and I'm going to give you an example here because I don't want to make this video too long and fill your brain with too many ideas, but what I can show you here is that these animal facts are almost endless because you can write, you can have fact books made for as many animals as you can think of. And I'm going to show you some examples of what people are doing here in this slightly higher content niche. Okay, so I've just come across to this person's author page here where they are doing a few fact books for kids here. And as you can see, what they're doing here is they're targeting different animals. So we've got the narwhal here, we've got the sloth, the JK Rowling, um, the whatever that says there. The armadillo and the sales rankings on these are quite low. So 600,000, 233,000, 683,000, So they're making sales every single month with these books. Now, what's great about this is obviously you can target a load of animals with these type of books. And also with facts books for kids, you don't necessarily have to make these books too long. Like obviously, they're going to be a bit longer than your typical low content book and they're going to take a little bit more work. However, what they can consist of is literally just a picture of the animal that you're talking about and then a fact on the next page. So with kids books, they need less information inside them just so the child can understand. And with less information comes less work or less money on your part. And as you can see on this page here, they're only 26 pages long and they're charging $10. So I guess that's around $5 of profit per sale on every single book, maybe even more. I'm not quite sure for this type of length of book here. But when it comes to these fact books, like the opportunities are pretty much endless for this niche. And again, this is a niche that I would consider sort of in the middle ground between low content and high content. Although I will say right now, if this is something that really interests you and you think you can really push a lot of these books out there, you do need to be careful where you take your images from. Even if you find a website that says you're allowed commercial use on your images, you'll find actually that they will require you um, legally to, to change a certain amount of the image that you take from the website. So you always look into that before you take images from any website and use them in your book, okay? Okay, so that's it for this video. I just wanted to show you that there are more possibilities out there than just low content books. And also you don't need to spend a ton of money making higher content books either. You can find that nice middle ground where you're doing something a little bit different to low content, you're making a little bit more effort, you're spending a little bit more money but you're not really breaking the bank or spending months or even weeks on each project. And of course, with these type of books, there's going to be much less competition. So if this type of book interests you, then go ahead and subscribe, leave a comment, like the video, do whatever you want, but there'll be plenty more on the way soon.